If you've watched my channel for any length of time now, you know how sad I was when I wasn't able to use my BlackBerry Passport anymore here in the United States and just how much I absolutely love this device and the other Blackberries for email and communication. Nothing is cooler than carrying one of these around. And while I love the Unihurst devices and what they provide for people looking for a physical keyboard in 2023, nothing, nothing could ever replace the absolute excellence of typing out and sending an email on something like your BlackBerry Passport. So I used to reach out in those videos and say, hey, if anybody's got it still active in the United States, please let me know what carrier that is so I could go ahead and get mine ready to go again. And I never really got an answer. I know the MVNOs, there was a few of them, people passed around, but I kept striking out with all of the major carriers and then... And then I tried an old friend service that I've been using for a th three or four years now on this channel I've talked about in the past. Today's video sponsor, Mint Mobile. If you've been around my channel for a while, you know I have a lot of active devices at one time so I could review them all. And one of the ways that I'm able to get coverage on all those and control costs is through Mint Mobile. I've been using them for three or four years now. Absolutely love the service. And right now, they're running a special that could save you some money. Normally, the unlimited plan is $30 a month, but you click the link in the description on my channel and you get it right now for $15 from today until July 14th. That's half off the regular unlimited service. You get great 5G coverage. You get easy switches. Takes you 15 minutes. If you're coming from another carrier, get on the phone with them. Very helpful customer service. You get free hotspot. If you need an in eSIM, they can help you and set you up with that in a few minutes. If you need a physical SIM, they'll mail you one out for free. It is a great solution to save a lot of money and get great 5G coverage as well. And get your Windows phones running as well. If you look, I've tested it. It works. And of course, the today's video, the BlackBerry Passport. So get your old favorites up and running or something newer as well. If you follow my link on the channel, it'll be on the screen right now, mintmobile.com slash Tech. It does directly help the channel, so I appreciate that. Get your old favorites back online today. Now back to today's video. Yeah, so put my SIM in. It worked almost immediately. I did need to change a couple different things, and I had to go ahead and call them because I had to reset. Basically, you're going to want to reset your APN stuff. Just go back to the defaults. Then do a restart. If it doesn't work after that, you call up customer service, you talk to a live human, and they, they do something on their end that go ahead and recycles it in their network and on their back end to get you service. But I've been using it for a couple days now, and I'm really excited that it's working because I'm able to not only send and receive emails, uh, MMS works as well. A lot of times, and what happened with my old BlackBerry Bold when I was able to get it back online is that I could use it, but it was for calls and text only, so SMS stuff over the air. That was fine. It's still cool because you get to use the form factor and you get to enjoy the software, the OS BB10 on the device, but it wasn't quite the same. And if you're carrying around a passport, you want to be able to send emails, push notifications, still working quite well. Still working, still push notifications on my BlackBerry, even though BlackBerry services and stuff like that is offline. Still working better on this than it does on my iPhone, my Samsung, and some of the newer devices. I'm still getting the chime. I'm still getting the LED and notification. And I've been in heaven carrying this thing around again. Because you can see it right there. 4G LTE works fine. It's on the team. The uh, Mint works off the T-Mobile network. So wherever you're going to get coverage there, great coverage. Works fine. But data. I've been sending myself pictures to make sure MMS works. I've been sending emails to make sure that works. All the stuff that we use data for that we've had trouble getting these older devices back online with these networks since the shutdowns is working fine. I, I saw a video that said you could get like 2G devices all working with them all the way back to like a, a, I saw a guy using a Motorola Razor, like the original one, and it was working fine because the 2G networks are still going to be active on their towers until I think April of next year, 2024. What's exciting? Windows phone. Power up your Windows phone. I tested it in here. It worked fine. And my Nokia Lumia devices, which is really cool, could carry those around again. So where I struck out with other MVNOs, I've had luck with Mint. And I just, look, there's, there's still, are you going to want to use this for banking? No. Are you going to want to use it for other high security stuff? No, probably not. But to get to use this keyboard again, 
to get to carry around this form factor. Like I said, nothing beats the, the Unihertz Titan is nice. It's fine. But it is huge. It is gigantic. Nothing is going to beat having an OS that was tailored for what this does. A hardware solution that was beautiful. Elegant, thin, light enough, gorgeous 1440p display. One by one aspect ratio. Great for those emails. Great for those documents. Great for the, the web browsing that you're still able to do. You run into some security stuff and some web certificate stuff. So you don't want to do a whole heck of a lot of that. But... If you're just looking for something for communication and you already got one, you know, don't go out and buy one because now these are, uh, you got that nostalgia premium that you're paying. You're looking at upwards of, of two or $300 for these passports. I, I wouldn't do that, you know, unless you, you get a really great deal on one, then pick it up if you want to play with it. But the fact that we still get to use these, I can still carry it around. I can carry it around my BlackBerry passport again and use it. How cool is that? Now, like I said in that, in that little uh, section at the beginning where we're doing the partner bit, 15 bucks a month right now. I've been using them for years for other channel stuff because I need a lot of sims. You know, I'll do a video on one phone one day and then a couple days later I'm doing it on another phone. That's not an accident. I was carrying them around at the same time and I don't want to pay gigantic amounts of money in order to be able to do that and have multiple sims that I could use. So 15 bucks a month, this makes sense. And to get your BlackBerry back online, I, listen, this is going to be my, I've been carrying three phones. I always carry three phones, okay? I carry uh, my one phone that I use for family and friends and stuff like that. I carry another phone that I'm always testing. Whatever I happen to be testing, reviewing. Sometimes there'll be a second one of those as well. So three or four phones together. But I always carry one that's just like kind of the business one, the email one, stuff like that. And it was always my BlackBerry Passport. And the fact that it gets to be the BlackBerry Passport again is really cool. So if you've been like me, you got a BlackBerry. got to be unlocked. Okay, unlocked to T-Mobile, something like that that'll work on Mint. If you're like me and you've been missing your Blackberries and you can't get them active, you know, you're coming from another carrier, you're coming from one of the major carriers that kicked these off the network, they kicked us to the curb, said, no more, that's it, stop using that old stuff, come buy something else from us. No, 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 no. You get yourself one of these, you pop it in, link will be in the description, 15 bucks a month, get you unlimited data, you can send the emails and MMS messages to your heart's content, browse the web, whatever you got to do. On here, you can use your BlackBerry Passport again in the United States. It's a cool day. It's a big day. I'm going to be carrying You see me? Look, I, I'm going to be carrying this from now on. Until, until they shut these servers down and they don't allow me to carry this anymore, I'm going to be carrying one of these. If you've made it this far, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Until next time, have that Steve Lish's day.